welcome you once again to the course Five Steps to Your First High-Paying Catering Client. Um, I'm not sure of your exact background, but I know a lot of my students, a lot of their backgrounds are already in the hospitality industry, uh, in the restaurant industry as a line cook or a, a server uh, or a salad prep. Um, or you're in the catering business um, in, in whatever capacity. Uh, maybe it's a country club or maybe it's an off-premise caterer or a cafe. Um, and and a, lot of, a lot of my students basically have this one idea in their, in their mind, which drives them to taking this course. Uh, and it's one of two things. It's, it's one is that they look at the world around them, they look at the business that they're working in, and they tell themselves that they can do it. The other thing is that they look around into the environment they are, the restaurant they work, the chef, the team that they work with, and they know that they can do it better. And I find this attitude among my students uh, pretty persistent. Um, and what really holds them back are a few myths about getting into this industry on their own that they don't understand aren't really issues anymore. You see, when, when you're taking the leap to go out on your own and to start your own business, you can look for any excuse and any reason you want to not do it. It's too expensive. It scares you. You don't know how it's going to turn out. But for you to take this course, you're mitigating a lot of that risk and you're going to feel more comfortable approaching potential clients by going through this course. But you're still going to be forced to do things that make you uncomfortable. You're going to be forced to do things that you probably don't want to do. But you have to do them in order to make the business work. Like talking to clients on the phone. Or speaking with guests. I find a lot of my line cook students have issues... Uh, issues aren't the right, right word, but uh, have uh, difficulties speaking with guests. And um, what you'll learn maybe in the, the last module of this course uh, and throughout the course, but specifically in the last module, you're going to learn hospitality and how to really communicate with the guests and make them feel special. But in this module here, we're going to talk about the myths that surround starting your own catering business and the mindset that I want you to have going through this process. The first myth is that you need a humongous investment to start your own catering business. Um, you, so you took this course to find out how to do it without the huge investment. Um, and we're going to go through a couple items here that you may think that you have needed to start a catering business, but you really don't. But the bottom line here is that you don't need to make any investment in food, paper products, you don't even need a website, although I'm going to show you how to make a website on the cheap, a very professional website. Um, you don't need food, you don't need equipment, you don't need paper goods, you don't need a website, you don't need a marketing team, you don't need employees. You don't need any of this stuff until you book your first event. So let's go through the next slide here. You don't need to sit down and scribble out multiple complex menus. You don't need the wedding catering menu. You don't need the kosher catering menu. You don't need this menu and that menu. You don't need to have these multiple items with different price points uh, and different costs per person or uh, cost per hour, cost per tray. You need to keep your business as simple as possible for your sanity and for your potential clients. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do as far as menu writing. Uh, in the third, I believe it's the third section of this course. So don't get ahead of yourself and start uh, brainstorming ideas on menus uh, because most likely you're going to make it too complicated, um, not efficient, uh, and you're not going to uh, be able to attract the right clientele to your business uh, without a little orientation for us. So please uh, don't think that you have to come into this with uh, hundreds of different types of menus that you're going to hand to potential clients. Uh, because you don't need to. You don't need to hire any staff. I'm going to show you how you you can look into your current network of uh, friends, family, relatives, and co-workers um, to help you when you need it. Uh, but 
more likely than not, you're not going to need the help in your first few catering events. Uh, you're going to be able to handle it on your own with uh, very little assistance. So you don't need to start worrying about um, hiring an HR director or having W-2s filled out and having uh, insurance to cover staff. Um, you don't need that to start your own catering business, uh, especially if you're already working uh, another job. Um, this course uh, and this strategy was designed to help you begin your own catering business while you are also working your full-time job. Having your